Good day, I am Laika Berin, a student nurse from Nueva Ecija University of Science and Technology. And for today's video, I will be demonstrating administering oxygen via mask. The goal of this procedure is that the patient will exhibit an oxygen saturation level within acceptable parameters. For the equipments, check for oxygen delivery devices as ordered by the healthcare provider. Oxygen tubing, consider an extension tubing. Humidifier if indicated. Sterile water for humidifier. Oxygen source, oxygen flow meter, and appropriate room signs. For the implementation, bring necessary equipment to the bedside stand or overbed table. Perform hand hygiene and put on PPE if indicated. Identify the patient. Close curtains around the bed or close the door to the room if possible. Explain what you are going to do and why you are going to do it with the patient. And review safety precautions necessary when oxygen is in use. And place no smoking signs in appropriate areas. Attach face mask to the oxygen source with humidification if appropriate with a specific mask. Start the flow of oxygen with a specified rate. For a mask with a reservoir, be sure to allow the oxygen to fill the bag before proceeding to the next step. Position the face mask over the patient's nose and mouth. Adjust the elastic strap so that the mask will fit snugly but comfortably on the face. Then adjust the flow rate to the prescribed rate. If the patient reports irritation or redness is noted, use gauze pads under the elastic strap at pressure points to reduce irritations of the ears and scalp. Reassess patient's respiratory status including respiratory rate, effort, and lung sounds. Note for any signs of respiratory distress such as tachypnea, nasal flaring, use of accessory muscles, or dyspnea. Remove PPE if used, perform hand hygiene, and document the procedure. Remove the mask and dry the skin every 2 to 3 hours if oxygen is used continuously and do not use powder around the mask. 